So we've had some weird concoctions on the channel with our Out of Bounds Round series. This includes the glass driver, the bullet driver, the hammer driver. If you've not seen any of those, click the link above. But today, for the first time on the channel, we've got a game changer. The All-in-One Golf Club by QGolf. Okay then, uh, what do we play? I think hybrid. Hybrid, yeah, yeah, hybrid. What about those bunkers? The bunkers, that's a good point actually. Five iron, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do five iron, yeah. I reckon you can get over those though. Yeah, we could, we could get over, we could, we'll, 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 we'll sting her, we'll sting her. I don't know what to expect here, first shot with the adjustable Q club, and I'm going to put it in stinger mode, which I think is 11 degrees to get us going. The uh, attractive thing about this is, obviously it's one club, you don't have to carry a full set around, I'm literally going to be walking around with one stick. <laughs> wow. Well, it flew like a hybrid. I don't know where we are, let's go and have a look. Now I've got to admit guys, this specimen really intrigues me to a point where I feel like it would be cool to do a few holes this versus my exact club. So we've, we select five iron on this, we use my five iron against. If you want to see that, we need 3,000 thumbs up. So hit the, hit the thumbs up please, that'd be lovely. Thank you. That surprised me. Not that I thought it was going to be bad, but it did fly like a hybrid on the hybrid setting. This is a graphite shaft, 80 gram regular flex but the shaft itself is rather interesting. So obviously the biggest hurdle that you've got to get around with an adjustable club is the length. If we've got 14 clubs in the bag, no two clubs are the same length, matter of fact. Now to get around this, I've got a long shaft. Now to get around this, Q Golf has got a long shaft. And with that, I've got different options all the way down. So if you select the short iron, you can actually grip down this particular shaft. It sounds so wrong, but it's not. Okay, so I've got 146 yards left into this. Um, so I would usually hit nine iron. So I'm in fact going to hit nine iron. Now, from the top of the grip, this feels miles away. It feels like a one length nine iron. Where's this gonna go? Probably that house. But we've got the option here now to grip down to a nine iron length. Doesn't feel too weird and try and execute the shot. Think that might be enough, we'll have a look. Pure convenience, I feel. It goes from anything from a five degree to a 64 degree in one golf club. Okay, so I've still got nine iron in hand, but we're short. Needs a bit of loft, so I'm gonna have to go to my lob, my lob wedge, I think. I think. Sorry, old, old habits. L for loser. No, L for lob. Now then, so we'll go down to the bottom here and use this as a lobber. Okay, that had a bit of loft to it, didn't it? Not bad. Now then, I know what you're thinking. This guy sucks. Correct. We're finally on the short stuff, but we need a putter. Didn't bring my bag. So we ain't gonna put it, so I'm gonna have to put this in the putter setting. Of course, the P at the end, which is five degrees. Now, if you look at standard lofts, I'd say it's more the three degree that you'd be looking at. So I'm gonna do a bit of a forward press. Now, I think this is about 34 inches. If I'd have hit that, that would have gone in. But that felt pretty putter-like, to be fair, in uh, considering it's just one golf club. I think this is a perfect club for that scenario of you don't want to cart your golf clubs on the other side of the world. You don't take the whole set in case you can't play. But if your meeting finishes early, there's a chance you can sneak out for a quick nine holes, maybe push 18 on occasion. You want something there just to be able to whip out and hit a few shots with. I think this is, this is perfect. Maybe you could live in the trunk of your car 
just for a quick few holes, just to keep yourself warm for the weekend medal after you finish your work. Yeah, we've got a few scenarios for you to think about. Okay, a relatively long par four on a stunning day at Hollywood Golf Club. And I'm obviously gonna go for that stinger setting again. I'm not sure if you could use a five degree. I'm sure that's possible as well, but I'm gonna to stick to the 11. I think that's a good like hybrid option. And yeah, the head weight is very impressive. I've got to say, you can definitely feel that. I lost, lost balance a little bit down the right hand side, but that's absolutely fine. But again, you could argue, is this really made for me? Probably not. Um, I think this is entry level, or like I say, it's either I take this with me or I don't play golf. I'm going to be taking this with me. Do you know what I mean? But I've got to admit, one of the things I like most about it is the actual mechanism of changing the loft does not feel cheap. It doesn't feel like it's going to break at all. I know these guys have got a good warranty on this club as well, if it, if it did. But it's a proper innovation. It doesn't feel like it's going to snap on me at all, which is, you know, <laughs> nice. All right then, bit of a fluffy lie. We'll go from hybrid to a pitching wedge, I think. So we've got to remember to grip down here, very important. And I probably said balls below, so we're going to aim to the left hand side. Okay, I think she is dancing. Okay, decent length put to the five degree put option. A little bit of a forward press, bang for birdie. <laughs> it sounds so easy when you say it like that. It actually went in the hole. It's a bit of a concern when you put better with this than you do your own putter. So why is everyone on tour not playing this? Well, it's not built for them, number one. Um, a heavy, regular, hybrid sort of club is not, it's not really going to suit well. But another thing is, it's not legal. This thing currently is illegal. This is something that could change in the future, but it's not meant for tournament play. It is literally just to keep the cogs moving. So Q Golf have also said that every aspect of Q's head is that not the bloke from James Bond? If it's not, that's going to be embarrassing. Everything has been considered in the head of the queue, from weight and sole shape to the feel of the face and the variable lie length. So it's not just the lie that changes. Obviously, your length changes due to your grip change, but also the lie. It's very smart. The lie changes with the loft. I keep feeling like I've left my bag. Um, now then, hole I really wanted to try is a par three. I'm just going to use my distance measuring device. I think mid, mid grip for the seven iron. Oh, that could work very well. I think she could be dancing, you know. Like I say, I've got this little blocky shot where it's obviously kicking and squaring the face up to path, where with a steel I've still got time to release that more towards target line. Does that make sense? That was very patronising, wasn't it? Does that make does that make sense? Do you want me to, do you want me to explain that a little bit slower? So, <laughs> another cruise ship. That's Beckham's, I think. I think David Beckham's here. David, hi. Okay, PP setting. A little bit of a forward press again, and that fade, little fade left to right put. Bit OTT. Oh, I've read that well. I've really read that one well. I mean, it's a, it's a great device, but unfortunately it doesn't read your puts for you. That put there is exactly why aliens haven't visited us yet, because they were ready, they were just there, and they've gone... Nah, nah, mate. Nah, nah. It's <laughs> Not bad, good four. <laughs> yeah, add that to the uh, three put stats. So guys, that is it for the introduction to the Q Club on the channel. Uh, I think it fits very well in the Outer Bounds, even though we've had some hot trash on Outer Bounds. This is definitely not 
hot trash and it doesn't need to be hot trash to be on out of bounds. It's a weird and wonderful innovation that I feel that there's definitely a future for it somewhere. Guys, comment down below what you think of the Q Club. Um, we've got a few ideas. Like I say, like the video because we're going to put this up against my set of irons to see how we get on head to head. That'd be quite interesting. And I'll potentially even take it into the net to see how we get on from a distance perspective. But guys, if you, if you like the content, please hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, live streaming on Twitch. Bye!